What is up guys, Arkane Studio is a French video game developer based in Lyon, France, founded back in 1999. While I don't think I have to dig up for any info about Bethesda here, all of you already know them. Arkane Studio is known for their games like Dishonored 1 and 2 and Bioshock 2 and recently they released Dishonored Death of the Outsider. A big thanks to the PR team of Bethesda for providing the review copy of Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Of course I'll do the giveaway too, but first, the review of the game should be on the channel. So far Dishonored Death of Outsider is small in size and cost of course, so I'm not going to discuss every segment separately, but now I'm going to discuss every aspect in a flow. First let's talk about the brief intro. Dishonored needs no introduction but for the sake of newbies, Dishonored Death of Outsider is a stealth action adventure video game developed by Arkane Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. Set in fictional, plague-ridden industrial location, the game itself is being called a standalone experience, just like Uncharted Lost Legacy. So don't expect much that from the game but few interesting things which I'm going to reveal in the next few minutes. Let's talk about the gameplay. Gameplay is great, the gameplay is same as always. Quite stunning and fun, there's nothing wrong with that, I mean seriously. And it feels same as Dishonored 1 and 2. In terms of doing different types of tactics and actions, the game faced issues for many crashing during gameplays and FPS sudden drop. Which is unfortunate but for me the game did crash once, and other than the FPS drop never happened in my case. The game runs pretty smoothly and has pretty good controls on both keyboard and controller, has significantly less bugs than Dishonored 2 had on release. Death of Outsider offers a small number of missions like 5 total mission in a nutshell. Each mission have different length from one hour to another, but mostly it depends upon how player is playing. Like if you are going to play the game with the stealth, then it of course will take time more than usual. And if you are going to rush these 5 missions, it will end so fast that you will keep complaining about the length. So for the tag of 30 bucks over the steam, Death of Outsider seems nice in story length and aspects because the game took 5-6 to six hours to complete which is good. Story of the game was pretty good, but at the very same time it was so predictable. Both the endings of the game were good, not that bad. But the story itself cannot carry the gameplay which was lacking supernatural abilities. In my opinion developers should have at least gave us the ability to upgrade the supernatural abilities like Dishonored 2. Like she can steal the faces of the people for a short period of time which allows her to stroll past bosses of the god. So long as no one discovers the body of her victims, while all the missions are inventive and creative in its own way. Introduction of the contracts add an additional level of the difficulty and a way to get more coins. Let's talk about the graphics. Graphics in the Dishonored, Death of Outsider are good. But mostly if you have played Dishonored 2 then you cannot tell the difference between both. Lots of reused assets, even whole maps like the Conservatory from Dishonored 2. So not to complain about the graphics as it's just a standalone experience which again costs less and offers less and of course developers are not fooled to redesign everything just for 4 to 5 hours of a standalone experience. But yet they offered some new thing in the game, Life Billy, our main protagonist has a much smaller pool of powers which leads to much more deliberate and stealth heavy gameplay style as Corvo from the old game. You could always fight your way out and it was super fun. But playing as Billy in a tense in a way I haven't encouraged in a long time. In a nutshell the graphics are satisfactory. Let's talk about the conclusion. Dishonored the Death of Outsider is a standalone experience and there is nothing I can complain about. But would like to mention bug issues which are now already dealt with. Seems same like older parts in the series, most of the assets are from the old game. But all of these complaints go silent when I do think oh boy, it's just a standalone so don't worry too much. Dishonored, Death of Outsider secures 7 out of the 10 for being above average, aka mildly mediocre. And if you are wondering about you should buy this game or not, then this game is must buy only in one condition if you are a fan of this series. If you are new to the series then sure thing, go ahead, buy it only when you the game goes on the sale if you spend $30 on a standalone experience. If you are new to the series then sure thing, go ahead, buy it. But only when the game goes on sale as if you spend $30 for the standalone experience and you're a story guy like me then you'll end up hating this game. So only buy if you're willing to or if it's on sale only. Now I have no intention to give away this game because I have like couple of other games to offer back to you guys. Back to the community we built over the past two years. But still if you guys need to arrange a giveaway of this owner Death of Outsider then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment below what do you think about the review and the game. And I will truly pick someone from the below as a winner only in case if the video gets enough response from you guys. Or I can simply make another video for the giveaway but more chances I'm going to pick someone from the comment below. Again only in one case if this video gets enough response. Till then hang tight as the next review will be of an awesome game as usual.
keep boiling. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be right back with another video.